we would probably have to close the doors. Lillian Ford is the co-owner of Ray's Route 66 Family Diner in Sherman. Right now, she pays her servers $5 an hour, plus tips. Always try to be good to the service, and they make good tips. They do make good tips. People are good tippers. They realize they're trying to make a living, too. But if Senator Dick Durbin's plan to increase the $2.13 minimum tip wage to $7 becomes law, Ford says her business would go under. I'm sure they would be happy, very happy with the $7. And I'm sure the cooks would be happy with an increase. No doubt about it. But what happens to us? If they don't get, if we can't make the increase, they lose their jobs. Jobs that many can't afford to lose. It's better probably for me to have a job to be able to work hard and make my own tips than to count on them to pay me the extra. Susan DeFreitas is a server at the diner and says most customers are generous tippers. So working for a $5 base pay isn't as bad as it sounds. They over tip sometimes really for what the percentage is between 15 to 18 percent. You know, they a lot of them over tip but they appreciate the good service you know, that they get and they appreciate the good food that they get here also. But that could soon all go away if Ford is forced to increase her employees' wages. We try our best and that's all we can do at this point. And if it happens that he's going to do this, we'll have to face it when it happens, I guess. Ray's Route 66 Family Diner also cooks and delivers meals for Daily Bread, a meal program for the elderly. If the minimum wage and tip wage goes up, Lillian.